know, in my younger days was, you know, the infomercial, this is your brain on drugs. And, and I don't think that that was always effective, right? Because people were exposed to drugs. They're like, that didn't happen. And so I think, you know, with social media, with the internet, there's ways to get people evidence-based information that isn't this propaganda of drugs are bad. It's, this is how drugs work. Um, as Larry mentioned um, and Danny mentioned, um, telling stories around and about and about um, addiction, substance abuse, sobriety, uh, legalization, decriminalization, all of these things have been just an important part of um, the, the, the topics that we've taken on at GQ under my leadership, where we were essentially looking at the myth of uh, the correlation between substance use and abuse and creativity. So uh, for those of us who are around rock and roll, rap, uh, jazz, drugs and alcohol are just uh, inextricably intertwined with the history of these arts. From our perspective, we're interested in increasing an understanding that this is an organ-based disorder, mm -hmm. that drugs and alcohol affect the brain and they produce molecular changes in our brains mm -hmm. that develop uh, this problem of alcohol and substance use disorder. So this needs to be messaged from science in a number of different ways. Yeah. There's This conversation just doesn't happen, right? Especially a conversation with people. It's it's more you know about the, the the kind of sensationalization or but this is this kind of thing I think is the first step to having a conversation about what drug use is what it means how people navigate it what is addiction what is sobriety and so like thank you for just doing that.